Most models do not yet take full account of the impact of global dimming and predict warming between 2 and 5 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. But just as global dimming may have lulled the public and politicians into a false sense of security about climate change, has it misled climate scientists about the real power of the greenhouse effect to change global temperatures? Peter Cox, a leading climate modeler, has come up with a controversial new analysis based on the observed warming of the last century. If scientists have underestimated the cooling effects of global dimming in the past, he believes they may also be underestimating the heating effects of global warming in the future. We've got two competing effects, really, that we've got the greenhouse effect, which has tended to warm up the climate, but then we've got this other effect that's much stronger than we thought, which is a cooling effect that comes from particles in the atmosphere. And they're competing with one another. And we know the climate's moved to a warmer state by about 0.6 of a degree over the last 100 years. So the whole thing's moved this way. If it turns out that the cooling is stronger than we thought, then the warming also is a lot stronger than we thought. And that means the climate's more sensitive to carbon dioxide than we originally thought. And it means our models may be under-sensitive to carbon dioxide. While today's models foresee a maximum warming of five degrees Celsius by the end of the century, Cox thinks that it is not beyond the realms of possibility that by 2100, temperatures could rise by as much as 10 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Many plant species could not survive such rapid climate change. In his scenario, trees would die all over the planet. The world's best agricultural land would be struck by drought and soil erosion. Famine would not be far behind. And in the far north, there would be a risk of releasing a vast natural store of greenhouse gas bigger than all the oil and coal reserves of the planet. We will be in danger of destabilizing these things called methane hydrates, which store a lot of methane at the bottom of the ocean in a kind of frozen form. 10,000 billion tons of the stuff, and they are known to be destabilized by warming. If this were to happen, some or all of the 10,000 billion tons of methane, a greenhouse gas eight times stronger than carbon dioxide, would be released into the atmosphere. When this last happened 50 million years ago, when the Earth was already warmer than it is today, the average temperature rocketed by 13 degrees Fahrenheit, making the Earth 25 degrees hotter than today and life struggled to survive. Some scientists consider this model extreme, but all climate models contain important unknowns and ranges of possibility. Our new understanding of global dimming has complicated the task of forecasting the future, but has also brought the probability of dangerous climate change much closer. Today, there's a strong scientific consensus that without urgent action to reduce our burning of coal, oil, and gas, we risk creating a world very different from the one which has been so hospitable to humanity. I think we have less than a decade to avoid passing what I call a point of no return. I think we have to keep global warming less than one degree Celsius or we're going to get um, very bad effects. And the problem is that to achieve 
To keep the warming less than one degree Celsius, we have to level off the emissions and get them to decline before the middle of the century substantially. Right now, the course that we're on is plus 2% per year in greenhouse gas emissions. Well, if you continue that even for 15 years, it's a 35% increase, and then there's no way that you can possibly meet this alternative scenario with warming less than one degree Celsius. One of the real driving forces is that you leave an environment uh, that is comfortable for your children. And if we carry on going the way we're going, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave an environment that's much worse than the environment we lived in, and it will be down to what we did while we were using that environment. And that would be um, tragic, really, if that happened.